All right, so that's where it all started. So God gave mm -hmm. you that vision to do those, to do those conference, do that conference and bring that content in. And so let's talk a little bit more about that because I know well, people, that was, people are that watching. That was the first one. Yeah. I mean, I wasn't even planned, right? So, you know, I get off the plane in Albania and I was supposed to be doing three sessions and I'd have this thing swirling in my spirit if I could just do five. I just, for some reason, I just felt like, because I knew I couldn't get it across in one. Right. Because I was wanting to explain the kingdom principles that changed our life and I, I couldn't do it in one session. Two, I just, I need five got off the plane and the missionary said, one guy canceled, you got five sessions. I never even mentioned I wanted five sessions to him. I knew the Holy Spirit was setting that up. Yeah. So I went back to the room, you know, praying and writing out my notes. And that was really the first financial revolution conference that happened in Albania. And of course, you heard the result, the blue haze, mm -hmm. I mean, the presence of God, and then bringing it back to the States, to the Indian reservation and other local churches and the impact. The thing that was so strange, if you want to call it that, so astonishing to us okay. was the anointing. Yeah. I mean, the blue haze, but then it was on the money. Yeah. When Tracy, my secretary, yeah, opened that bag, we did the Indian reservation. Uh -huh. When she opened that bag, the same thing in Albania, when the missionary opened the bag and dumped it on the table is when the blue haze came in there. It was on the, on the money. And then Tracy unzips that offering and dumps it on the table to count it, to deposit it for us. And the anointing knocked her down, knocked her to the ground. It was on wow. the money. That was so, I never even heard of that. So we, we launched out and started doing conferences. And amazingly, Jason, this is amazing that- Now real quick, I want, yeah. I want to go back one second to yeah. tell our viewers so that, that it was on the, can you speak to, because there may be some people watching, wanting, yes. what do you the mean? Anointing. Was a, the anointing. The anointing The presence the of God was but, on but, the money. But was the difference, why was it there? Wasn't it because people gave or sowed in faith? And that is- Exactly. And this that is, is all what new. Is, and that is all what new to me. Okay. Okay. I didn't, I didn't, you're right. I asked the Lord- about that. I said, Lord, what's happening? Because I never knew it. Because when we started doing conferences, besides the three we mentioned on that segment, mm -hmm. we go into churches, we take the offering up, and we, we saw the blue haze again in several, but we take the offering up and we'd go to, you know, handle it, to, you know, yeah. ushers would handle it. They would begin shaking under the power of the Holy Spirit. Wow. And then it got to the point, my staff, after a conference, I say, come here, come over here. I, and I take a coin or take a dollar bill and I say, hold that for a minute. And they would hold it and they'd begin to shake under the power of the Holy Spirit. And some of them couldn't stand up. And I said, okay, okay, God, I've never heard of it. What, what, is, what, yeah. is, what is going on here, right? And that's what the Lord said. He said what you just said. He said, you've taken the time to lay out the kingdom laws, five sessions, which produced faith in them. Mm -hmm. See, so many people, Jason, give legally. Yes. Like they owe God, they have to give. See, he, I'm not doing that. He says, you've taken the time to lay out the principles of the kingdom where they're in faith. When they're in faith, they're releasing that in faith, in faith. and the anointing is on that act and it's on, they're, they're touching that. And in fact, you could tell the difference of one coin mm -hmm. or a dollar bill one would have more than another one. Now, we started TV just after that because God sent me to the nation. So we, we didn't really know much about TV, really kind of naive, which I guess was good. The first show we did, Tracy, again, calls me. Yeah. I'm at lunch. She calls me and says, and she has that shaky voice again. I thought, okay, what's going on? <laughs> said, someone sent an envelope, Pastor Gary, with money in it, a check. We never, we never started TV with the anticipation that people were going to help pay for it. We didn't have any call to action to do that. But someone sent a check, and she says, when I opened it, it was exactly the same anointing that was in Albania, wow. the same as the money that we had brought back from the Indian Reservation, and she was shaking under the power. Now, we received other envelopes, started receiving envelopes. Some did not have that strong but some would. And I learned very quickly that was put, that was the result of the person's faith when they released it. Wow. So we'd then go into the church and we'd have the same results. Uh, some of them, we saw the blue haze, 
Uh, some of them, all of them were impacted greatly. Because now here's the difference. You take the time to lay out the principles of the kingdom. And this isn't budgets. This, is, this isn't that at all. This is right. kingdom. And the people, uh, in fact, through a five-day conference or five sessions, sometimes we do them or, you know, in one day we even five sessions. But if you go through five sessions, you can see the people's face. Yeah. Usually by the third session, they begin to light up. They begin to smile. You can see faith rising in yeah. their hearts. And then by the last session, you know, we always uh, receive an offering, uh, only one at the end. And when they're in faith, we lay hands on that, just yeah. like God showed us to do in Albania. And great things begin to happen. Yeah. Great things. That's awesome. Well, and, and, and you reference, and I know a lot of people maybe maybe watching, and they're great givers, mm-hmm. right? They're giving, but, um, and that shows, that shows their heart, right? The mm-hmm. body of Christ's heart is to give. Absolutely. But we just haven't been taught how to give in faith. Sometimes we give out of duty. Sometimes, we, right. sometimes we give and we don't activate it. We don't actually right. pray over it. We don't receive anything right. when we give. Mm-hmm. And therefore, we may be sitting at home frustrated saying, well, I, I do give, but I'm not seeing, I'm not seeing like what you talk That's about right. or you're in church and I'm not seeing, um, you know, now my God shall supply all my needs. Yeah, you have to, there's several aspects which we cover in the conference on other words, how to harvest. See, most people have been taught to give but not to harvest. Right. They don't know how the kingdom operates. They're waiting on God to do something and not knowing how, what's the next step? Okay, I gave, but how do I harvest? And uh, that's all work of the Holy Spirit. But uh, when people attend the conferences, Jason, yep. it radically changes the atmosphere of the church, radically transforms the provision, the finances in the church. And then we do something quite unusual. That okay. I don't know of anyone else that does this. Yeah. We actually sit down with every family that wants to and show them how to get out of debt themselves personally. Because if the people aren't free, the church isn't free. Right. So we work with the data on their personal level, like what they spend their money on and freeing money up. And I don't have time to cover that, but tomorrow we're going to get into that big time. Okay. But just as an example, to catch your attention how impactful this is, the teaching is vital. That brings that anointing and faith in there. But then we go a step further and show them how to actually get out of debt in the natural, just numbers. You know, I have a financial planning background, so we show them how to rearrange their finances and to win financially. For instance, here's a church we did. We sent a letter to every pastor at the conclusion of what we actually accomplished. But for instance, in this particular church, we freed up on the average $810 a month in the, in, in the households. Wow. wow. That's the average of all the 200 families we met. And we freed up in the church $176,000 per month. Did you hear that? Yeah. We freed up in that church, if you added up all the families, the money we found in those families' budgets and numbers, $176,000 a month is now free in that church. So everything changes. And the best thing, Jason, we don't charge to come. We don't charge to come and do this. This is our mission. This is what God's told us to do. So that's why we're doing this broadcast, because you're a member of a church. Uh, Listen, you need to let your pastor know we're available to help your church. In helping your church, you're going to see how to be free as well. But we need to understand God has sent us on this mission to get the body of Christ out of slavery. That's right. And actually, if uh, if you want this and you want to participate... Um, and be a part of it, you can go to ftmtevent.com. It's a very simple form. You can put in your information, and one of our team members will get right back to you um, fairly quickly. But uh, you'll see the website there on the, lower, on the lower third. And now speaking to that freed up money, you know, a lot of that comes from uh, a lot of the money the believers and people that have that goes is being paid in interest. Right, so right. it's so it's you, funding it's yeah. funding other things. It's well in this particular church. Good thing you asked. Twenty eight million dollars. In other words, if they paid their loans out as they were written and amortized, by getting them out of debt, freed up twenty eight million dollars. Jason, yeah. that would have been lost to the kingdom. This is now in the kingdom. So we're going to talk about this yeah, tomorrow wow. in great detail. I want to thank you for joining me, and I t- hope this has caught your attention. But please consider responding to that website on the bottom of the screen. And make sure you don't miss tomorrow and another edition, a special edition of Fixing the Money Thing. We'll see you then. Do you feel trapped by the system, dreading tomorrow's bad news? 
The kingdom promises a life of abundance. So don't just wait for the next crash to put you and your family under. There's a better way. If you feel like you're out of luck and out of hope, you need a financial revolution. You have to have the kingdom understanding to receive from the kingdom. It's time to fix your money thing. Gary Cassie will help you produce, capture, and create wealth in your church and in your personal life. Go to ftmtevent.com now. Everything you see in the Bible, you should see in the local church. Stop living in the earth curse system of slavery and start tapping into your kingdom provision. This life-changing series of teachings will start you on the path to success like you've never imagined. Learn how to free yourself from the debt holding you back, how to grow your wealth, and how to tap into your kingdom inheritance. You'll never find your destiny until you fix the money thing. The numbers speak for themselves. At past financial revolution events, individuals gained an average of over $800 a month. Churches found over $75,000 a month they didn't have before. Society wants to take your money. Gary wants to help you take control of your money. Go to ftmtevent.com today for info on how to schedule your church for a free financial revolution event. More than half of Americans live paycheck to paycheck. Break free from the vicious cycle of debt and doubt and live on tested kingdom principles. Listen, you need to let your pastor know we're available to help your church. Escape the earth cursed system. Don't wait. Visit ftmtevent.com now for this financial opportunity you don't want to miss.